Today we are diving into one of the most important yet often overlooked parts of software development, deployment strategies. We will cover the top five deployment strategies you need to know, how AI is transforming deployments, and finally, clarify what feature flags are and why they matter. Hi there, welcome to Tech and Career Bites. I'm a software professional with over two decades of experience, including seven years in leadership roles at a global product-based organization. A deployment strategy is a plan for how you release new versions of your software to users. Do you release everything at once, gradually, or test it on a small group before scaling? The strategy you pick directly affects your system's uptime, error rates, and how easy it is to roll back if something breaks. And in modern software delivery, it is not just about moving code anymore. It is about doing it safely, reliably, and sometimes with the help of AI. All right, let's get into the top five. First up, Big Bang Deployment. As the name suggests, it is like building an entire new city. And then overnight, everyone moves into it. Here is how it works. The old version of the application is completely shut down and the new version is then deployed. This means there will be a period of downtime during the deployment process. When is this deployment strategy used? This strategy is primarily used for small non-critical applications where a short period of downtime is acceptable or for major system overhauls where a gradual transition is impossible or impractical. This strategy is often used in development or staging environments but rarely in production for critical systems. Deployments have always carried risks but in the AI era, we have smarter ways to handle them. Let's see how AI makes deployment strategies even better. While not directly used in the Big Bang process itself, AI can help in scenarios leading up to a Big Bang deployment. For example, AI-powered testing tools can run extensive tests to significantly reduce the risk of a Big Bang failure. AI can analyze the complexity of the new deployment and historical data to more accurately predict the required downtime. AI can automate checks before and after the deployment to ensure all systems are ready and functioning correctly. Imagine upgrading your car's tires one by one while it is still driving. That is essentially a rolling deployment. Rolling deployment is the most common and often default deployment strategy in modern platforms like Kubernetes. In this, instead of shutting down your entire application to deploy a new version, you update a few instances at a time. Once those new instances are healthy and ready to serve traffic, the old ones are gracefully shut down. This continues until all instances are running the new version. Rolling deployment is ideal for applications that need continuous availability and can tolerate a gradual rollout and temporary inconsistency. It is built into many orchestration tools, making it relatively easy to implement. AI can monitor key metrics during a rolling deployment. If anomalies are detected, AI can automatically pause or even initiate a rollback acting as an intelligent safety net. In blue-green deployment, two identical production environments are maintained, blue and green. The blue environment runs the current stable version, while the green environment is where the new version is deployed and thoroughly tested. Once the new version in green is validated, traffic is instantaneously switched from blue to green using a load balancer or DNS change. If anything goes wrong, you can immediately switch back to the blue environment. This deployment strategy is 
excellent for critical applications requiring zero downtime and quick rollbacks. AI can monitor the green environment for performance errors and user behavior during its testing phase. It can analyze logs and metrics to identify potential issues before the traffic switch or even suggest the optimal time for the switch based on predicted load. Now, Canary deployment. The name comes from the Canary in a coal mine practice. Miners would take canaries into mines. If the canary died, it signaled dangerous gases and the miners would evacuate. Let's see how canary deployment works. A new version of the application, the canary, is first deployed to a small subset of users. This small group acts as an early warning system. Metrics like error rates, performance and user feedback are closely monitored. If the canary performs well, the new version is gradually rolled out to more users. If issues arise, the traffic to the canary is immediately diverted back to the old version, minimizing the impact. So, when is canary deployment recommended? Canary deployment is great for high risk changes, new features, or when you want to gather real world feedback from a small user segment before a full rollout. AI excels in canary deployment. AI can automate traffic shifting. Based on real time metrics, AI can automatically increase or decrease the percentage of traffic going to the canary. AI is helpful in anomaly detection. AI algorithms can quickly identify abnormal behavior like sudden spikes in errors, slowdowns in the canary environment that humans might miss. AI can analyze historical data to predict potential issues with the new version based on its characteristics. A-B testing deployment is similar to canary but with a specific goal. Comparing two versions to see which performs better against a business metric. Example, conversion rate, user engagement, etc. Let's understand how it works. Two or more versions of an application feature or even the entire application are shown to different randomly selected groups of users. The goal is not just to detect bugs, but to gather data and determine which version leads to better business outcomes. This is often used for marketing, UI UX improvements or feature effectiveness. A-B testing deployment is used when you want to make data-driven decisions about new features or changes. It is a great way to optimize your application based on actual user behavior. AI can be a game changer for A-B testing. AI can suggest optimal A-B test variations and sample sizes based on historical data. AI can continuously analyze incoming data from A-B tests to detect statistically significant differences faster. Advanced AI can dynamically assign users to different variations based on their profile, leading to more targeted and effective tests. Based on predefined success metrics, AI can automatically identify the winning variant and promote it. Now, feature flags. Feature flags are not a deployment strategy. They are a technique you use alongside deployment strategies to control feature availability at runtime. A feature flag is a technique that allows you to control the visibility and the behavior of specific features at runtime without requiring a new code deployment. It decouples the act of deploying a code from the act of releasing a feature. Here are a few use cases where feature flags are used. Hide unfinished features. Enable new features for internal or canary users. Instantly disable a buggy feature without rolling back. Now, you might be wondering, where do feature flags fit into these deployment strategies? 
let's clarify that feature flags are act as a critical enabler and enhancer for many modern deployment strategies particularly canary and ab testing feature flags are often the underlying mechanism that powers a canary deployment instead of deploying a completely separate canary version of the entire application you can deploy the new code to all instances example via a rolling update but use a feature flag to enable the new feature only for the canary group of users this gives you incredibly granular control let's understand this with an example for example you deploy my app version 2 to all your servers using a rolling update this new version contains the code for new feature x but it is initially turned off by a feature flag then you enable the new feature x flag for 5% of users if all looks good you gradually increase the percentage through the feature flag settings without needing further deployments ab testing inherently relies on showing different user groups different variations of a feature or ui feature flags are a perfect mechanism to achieve this you deploy the code for both variations but use flags to determine which user sees which version allowing you to collect data and make informed decisions here is a quick recap of what we discussed today think of it this way deployment strategies are about getting your code to production feature flags are about getting your features to users also you can combine deployment strategy and feature flags if you found this video helpful give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting tech topics do check out our other videos on software performance optimization case studies coding system design big data and career growth my name is rupa and i thank you so much for watching this video see you next time